Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in here. First of all, we want to say if you all were affected by the snow and the ice yeah, like we were, man. hopefully today is a better freaking day. Right. God, <laughs> don't. <laughs> but that's why we late. But anyway, Power Book 2 goes Episode 7, Forced My Hand. Yeah, man. Yeah, like you said, um, this was a really good episode to, uh, last night, but it wasn't as good as it was last week. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, but uh, we moving along. Uh, the episode started off where you remember that Lorenzo had told Drew, we're going to tell Reno. So basically, they want to take Reno off the board. So we see them at this this place, and I, 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 I just don't get it. These dudes are selling all these drugs, but y'all... Are having sex in these halfway houses and 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 nobody's and looking out. Houses. It's like what in yeah. the world is going on here? So they break down the door, uh, and Drew ended up killing Reno. And like I told y'all last week, I you said did. I said Drew is, the is one crazy watch. as hell. And the same look that he had in his eyes <laughs> when Lorenzo told him when he was on the bed that it was gonna tell Reno that look. Yeah, how do you do it? How do it? That same look he had when he shot Reno, he didn't even he hesitate. He didn't even flinch. Bow. That's a dang Drew. <laughs> but we know that Drew still has a soft spot because the girl that that uh, Reno was bucking, he was like, "Now you ain't gonna tell you nobody." Ain't seen nothing. I was like, "Drew, you look green now." His you know? soft spot, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like his dad said, his soft spot is love. Yeah. Whenever he sees someone that loves someone or he loves someone. He can't do it. Yeah. Because the first thing I was like, this is a loose end. Ain't no way yeah. that they was going to keep her alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but Drew tried. So, um, Reno's second hand, man, Lorenzo had him to take him out and was like, uh, you got her. So, he ended up taking her out. And Drew was like, wait a minute. This wasn't the part. This wasn't the plan. And Lorenzo was like, rule number one, don't leave no loose ends. I say, but well, you were right about that one, Lorenzo. Right, because we remember that um, this was like before we had got into power. I think it was episode one, Maria, that Maria girl. Oh, yeah. That, that, that ghost, ghost that, that let go, and then eventually that came back and to had, haunt them. Yeah, and he yeah. had to take care of them. So that's leaving loose ends. So basically that's what Lorenzo was teaching. That's kind of funny that, it even, yeah. that she came up this episode, too. Right. <laughs> so then we see uh, Monet is at the bar. And uh, Frank's girl rolled up. Uh, and I said, Uncle Frank? And she I said, said, I almost <laughs> forgot about Uncle Frank. Yeah, and so Monet was like, I don't like no surprise visits. And she was like, well, I was surprised. Well, what I'm here for is because Frank came to surprise you, and I ain't seen, seen him since. since. Well, she was like, well, the last time I seen Frank, he was facing some serious time. So how did he get out? And so she was like, uh, um, his, his wife was like, well, you know, it's been tough since he's been gone. And, you know, our family is falling apart. And I'm having to explain this to the boys. So Monet ended up giving her some money. Hey, you know, take this to make your family whole. And I was like, you know, money never makes a family whole when you lose a dad or mom or something like that. But right. at least give you some money. It to helps. Get, get, give you some money to get by in these streets. But she said one thing that got me thinking. She said, tell Lorenzo to be careful in these streets. So I'm like, does she know of a back plan that Frank's guys got working to take Lorenzo out? What I'm thinking is that, remember they said, how did Frank get out? Right. <clears throat> I'm thinking that the wife knew that Frank snitched, snitched. on Lorenzo and them's organization. Mm. And that now that he is out, you better tell him to be careful. But here's another thing that I want to pick. I want to go back to. I want to go back to. Let me tell you something. We've been married how many years? It'd be 20 years this year, right? Right. How long is it going to take me to go look for you? <laughs> the same day? <laughs> Wolfing the... Wolf not within the hour. Wolfing the minute. When would you find out? You going to look. Soon as you tell me... Listen, we don't track each other right. on flights. When we don't... When we have to travel right. alone... It, hey, no. Yeah, where you at? It took a long time to check in. <laughs> <laughs> this shit got Frank been gone for a minute. Yeah. We don't <laughs> have people go to jail, die, get out, and you just come <laughs> into the city? To look at Frank. Let something happen to this one. Uh-uh. You got a good point. I will catch Jet Blue on this one. <laughs> I will catch a spirit on this one. Hello, why did it take us so long to get there? 
I got a little heated about that. I said, where, where the hell you been? Was she on the mega bus? Lord. So, <laughs> so speaking of, of heated, Monet sitting at home heated because Lorenzo and Drew been gone and they and say she said did y'all forget about dinner or something where, where the hell y'all been <laughs> but why did they sneak in the side <laughs> yeah, the side, yeah like they was <laughs> i didn't even know they had to slide because they didn't want to hear they didn't want to hear her mouth but just like back in the day when i used to be out past my curfew my mama and daddy be sitting in the, the couch <laughs> waiting for me to show up where the hell you been <laughs> and she was drinking that yak too uh -huh. i said oh shoot <laughs> It's about to be a situation going on because Yak don't do but two things. Make you buck and make you fight. You're right. <laughs> uh, Lorenzo told Drew, you go ahead and go to bed. So Monet was like, I hope you ain't had our son out there at risk. He was like, well, it's my son too. And I got him. And she was like, we we don't need to put him under this. He already been shot. Yeah. <laughs> he already been shot. Lorenzo was like, well, if I wanted, if we wanted safety, we would have started a car wash. But we wanted the money. We wanted the money. Yeah. Shit. Don't don't do that. I mean, but I think it's money in the car wash it's business too. Yeah. Because they be doing both. If you really shut up. Yeah. But anyway. so, so he was like, that's why we chose to do the this business. So she was like, well, I got a plan that Zeke is going to the NBA, and that's our way out. And he he was like, no, nah, we we, we no. Nah. I ain't living off another man. Another, yeah, I ain't living off another man. I feel I feel him on that right there. I ain't fitting to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna make my own way as a man. Then we see uh Tariq and Braden. So we know that Braden then got the the photo out. Yeah. Yeah. So the first picture that Tariq points out is Sweeney in the blackface, but uh Braden's dad is in the photo and Braden Braden was like, no. Can't nah, use that. You can't use that. No. Nah. And Tariq was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. You always talking about how you don't like white privilege, but now white privilege is possibly going to be taken away from you in this instance. And now you're right going now. against it. Now, I don't I don't think Braden was trying to protect white privilege. He was protecting uh, his family. He was just protecting his dad. So, because you know Braden, he 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 for anything when it comes down to the street life now. Yeah, but so, not at the... Not not at the expense yeah. not at the expense of taking down his right, family. Right, right, right. Which I don't think I don't think nobody would, would be yeah. would be in that position. So actually, what I thought that Tariq was gonna do, I thought that he was gonna get the book and steal the photo. I did too. I didn't think he was gonna ask, take a picture ask, of yeah, a picture. Yeah, or ask you know asking him for it. So yeah, I thought that was kind of right. Stupid, right? Like no, nah, no, nah, I'll do anything. You know, I'm down for anything. But not this, nah. And then I was like, you can do so much with a picture that you don't want someone in. Right. He could have taken that picture and, and photoshopped the daddy out. So there could only be speculation. I ain't think about no Photoshop. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, like OJ said, if I would have done it, this is how I, I would have done did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so then we see uh, Tariq and Tate. So... Yeah. Tariq tells Tate that, hey, I got a photo, and not only a photo, a black, a blackface photo with Sweeney. He was like, oh, yeah? Sweeney and blackface. And so Tate was like, sweet. I got this. But we ain't got nothing unless we got the picture. So Tariq was like, I can get you the picture, but there's stipulations. And he was like, what's that? So he said, I need you to not bring Braden's dad in it because Dayton dad is in the picture. And I told Braden, he said, I don't give a fuck about you what friend. you told your punk ain't friend. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to get that photo because even if you get acquitted, you still need me to get back gas. And I was like, yep, because he was the one to pull the strings in the first place yeah. to get gas. Mm -hmm. So now Tariq is definitely on the hook to get this photo. And now... Braden don't want him to have it, so I'm like, he's gonna have to take it behind Braden's back. Yeah. And we know that they just getting back on good terms because of what Braden did behind Tariq's back. Yeah. So now we, we got here. We, 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 we back here again. But Tariq had already screwed himself because he already let Tate know that the picture exists. Yeah. So with or without the picture, the damage has already been already done. Already done. So Tariq is back in class, and of course, <laughs> in like fashion, everybody looking like you know, what What the hell? You know, he back. And so, uh, Carrie was like, tell Axe and Tate was like, what judge would grant him bail? 
he was like, hmm, I have no idea. Like, you, the a, one, you the one that did it, didn't you? It is funny when you watch how he code switches. Yeah. In every situation, he goes from nigga, what? To I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He could do that thing. So she leaves the class with should we make decisions for someone else without their consent? And this just like sends the the class off into a frenzy. And it kind of it had good points. Yeah, it kind of sent me off in in, in the frenzy too. Um, that we do we. A matter of fact, we live in a world that decisions are made for us all the time. Our government. Yeah. Make decisions without consent. You know, when you living at home with your parents, they make a decision without your consent. Your motherfucking job. I get ready to go to work. <laughs> yeah. Do, do the same thing. So we live in a world that decisions are made for us without our consent. So this mm -hmm. is when Tariq in class, Tariq finds out that Lauren got ready for <laughs> drugs. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't know about it. So after class, he runs after her. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. What you know, why you ain't let me know that, you know, you got raided, you know, for the drugs. And she was like, you know, I, I didn't think I need to tell you. Um, Plus, there's a whole lot of skit you didn't tell you did, me. Yeah, a whole lot of skit you didn't tell me. And so we saw um, Carrie picking off in the distance. She's getting on my nerves, yes. man. <laughs> I'm like rocks now on that one. Her overly sexualized A needs to go. <laughs> So Tariq basically, um, Lauren basically told Tariq, hey, I, I, can't, I can't be seen with you no more. And so she goes on about her business. Then we are seeing uh, a scene where it's Sax, Tariq, and Davis. So they present him with the video mm -hmm. footage of who they believe the killer is of, of, um, of Detective Ramirez. And they showed Tariq the video, and Tariq was like, that ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> that ain't me. So they was like, well, if it ain't you, do you know who it is? And of course, he know he knows because it was Kane. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they were trying to convince him to basically give up who this person was. And Davis could see in Tariq's face that I'm even if he it. wanted to give it up, he can't he can give it up. So after he had left and Sax was like, we are so close to helping him out. If he just give us a name, we can get him off. And Davis was like, you don't know the streets. And that's the problem that we have with yeah. our judicial system. They always want you to give up people's names in exchange for them to protect you, but, but they, they don't know to protect you, man. Mm -hmm. And not only do they not protect you, they your don't protect family. your family. Your family is out here vulnerable. So that's why they was like, you don't know the streets. He said either either he won't tell us oh, or he, he can't. can't tell us. So we out. We know he can't tell it because he And his, Davis already knows who it is, but you know Davis has to play the game. Right. So they said, so Davis told Tariq said, Well, do you have an alibi? You know, from you not you know not placing you at the, the the shooting, and he was like, "Well, I was at my grandma's house cooking bacon for yes." <laughs> so he was like, "Bet." They was like, "Bet we can use that." And Tariq was like, no, oh, "No, I am not dragging my sister into this." And they was like, "You don't have a choice. <laughs> you don't have a choice, bro. It's either you behind bars, and Jasmine goes to whoever she goes to for for um, foster care, or." You put her on a stand so you can go free. I was like, "Don't!" I was like, "This is not a good idea." It's not at all. I said, "Put bringing kids into this skit is not a good Children idea." Children can't tell the truth when they know the truth. Right. <laughs> but before that, um, I almost forgot. Before that, um, when Davis was showing, um, I got ahead of myself when they, <clears throat> when Davis showed them the the video. The alibi was Paula because he said he was with Paula. Yeah, he did. at that center because you remember yeah, Paula he was like, Paula. yeah. True so, her. yeah, so Davis did end up mix, uh, meeting up with Paula to try to get Paula to get on the stand. And Paula was like, my stuff ain't going to fly because, matter of fact, he had time to get back across the town to kill the police officer. This is not going to work. <laughs> so Davis was like, hey, Paula, I forgive you for going behind my back. So I actually thought. I thought they had made up. <laughs> I thought they had made up. She got him because she came there looking all good and everything. Uh -huh. Like she was ready to give up some puss and everything. Uh -huh. Had her nice little flip job. Yeah. Hey. So I was like, so she was like, no. Nah. So when he said, I forgive you, I thought he was back in. And she ended up <laughs> Pouring the, the vodka and tonic on his feet was like, mm -hmm. I wish Tariq good luck because he gonna need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, now fast forward back to yes. What we doing? With the, fast forward back. <laughs> fast forward ahead. Where <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, 
Um, Paula told Davis that you need to get Tariq a deal. And Davis was like, you know I don't give deals. My clients go free. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, because you can't be charging no half a million, two million dollars for people still who had jail. to spend some time in jail because people will hire a lawyer not to get a deal, to but get to get off. off. We see uh, uh, Drew and Everett just got finished doing their thing. And Everett still keeps running his mouth. He told Drew, you know, it's a good thing that, you know, Zeke won't in the room with, you know, with Tariq when the bat, when Detective Ramirez badge was found. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Yeah. And um, Drew was like, huh? What do you mean? So by the time Drew had a chance to dig into it, Detective Kevin knocks on the door. <laughs> I, I, I look forward to the day we don't have to see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he gets on my nerves. And uh, so he asked him, like, hey, you gave us some information about the gang that came looking for Zeke Cross at the game. I got some further questions. Everett was like, hey, <laughs> I done gave you all the information that I know. I ain't got no more. But at the same time, he, he, he was looking all nervous. And then Kevin looking all in the room. Seeing all the clothes on the floor. So when Detective left, uh, Everett told Drew, he gone now. And Drew was like, but well, he's going to be back. Yeah, because he's going to be back because Everett looked at, looked he at looked suspicious. He looked at suspicious. All right, so now what we have been waiting for. We knew that Dante was going to roll up on Zeke because we remember in the other episode, mm -hmm. he was sitting in the car looking at <clears throat> looking at Zeke shooting the jump shots. So he rolls up on Zeke and was like, basically kind of let Zeke know without letting him know that I'm your daddy. He was like, well, he's like, you, you up for a little one-on-one? -on -one? He was like, nah, mm -hmm. man, I'm just, I'm just work, working on my jump <laughs> shot. <laughs> So he was like, I bet you one of your foot, one of your your foot is bigger than the other. One of your what? <laughs> yes, so your foot. <laughs> one of your feet is bigger than the other. And Zeke was like, Yeah. Yeah, how but do, how do you know that? He was like, mine too. And he said, because mine just too. It runs in our family. And Zeke. I said, what do you mean by that? I said, you know you gotta be a little sharper than that. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean by that? So uh Dante was like, uh, well, I hate to break it to you like this. I'm your dad. <laughs> I'll be straight out. <laughs> yeah, right now, I'm your dad. And Zeke was like, man, you know what? Get the fuck away from me, man. My daddy did. <laughs> My daddy did. Yeah. <laughs> My daddy did. <laughs> so, so uh, Dante proceeds to show Zeke the tattoo. He's like, I had this tattoo ever since I was 16. This is how you got your name. You need to go ask your mama about this. So I'm like, okay. Now, but he Z, don't know his he mama don't know is that his mama, mama is Monet. He think, <laughs> he think his mama is whoever down south. <laughs> Hell, it could be me. <laughs> so we saw when he was getting ready to go and try to meet with his mama, but Monet came to the dorm because your mama Monet was trying to meet with the agents, his agent, <clears throat> to see if further get the deal. So he missed the meeting with the agent because he will not go see his mama. And Monet was like, this is more important. And he was like... I was out at the basketball court and the dude rolled up on me telling me he my daddy. I need to go see my mama because I need some answers. <laughs> and she was like, sit your way down. Sit your A down. So she proceeds to tell Z, I don't mean to break this to you, but your daddy is in prison for life. And I promised we wouldn't tell. And I, I said, this was your opportunity. To come clean to with him. To just come clean with him. And I, I'm sick of these parents. That cover their own ass by lying. They cover their what now? Own ass. I'm gonna say it by lying to these kids, man. They do. So you just lie, lie on top. First, you his mama. That that right there would hurt the worst. Yeah. You you my mama, but you telling me you my aunt. And then my daddy, and then my daddy comes in my life to but try he's to supposed get to be dead. Yeah, he's supposed to be dead. My daddy comes to tell me he my daddy. Now you gonna tell me no, nah, that ain't your daddy. So he done resurrected from the dead yeah. and went straight to prison. Yeah. So you already told him his daddy was dead. Now all of a sudden his dad is in prison for life. And then I'm like, okay, now <clears throat> granted, Zeke is not the brightest crayon in the box. Right. <laughs> so it may take him a while to get to this point, but what's going to happen when he wants to know who his father is? Right. And then what we going to do when he starts combing through the prison records trying to figure out who this but man is. But is he going to be smart enough to do that, though? 
We talking about Zeke now. I see. <laughs> like you said. <laughs> he got, see, he talks to Diana, who's very sharp. Yeah, she, yeah. She got her daddy out. Right. What makes you think that she can't figure out a way to find his daddy? And speaking of that, when when Monet was trying to get ready to go see the agent, she was panicking. Diana was like, why are you so stressed out, Ma? And that's when she started talking about that she needed to go see the agent because all this off-court skit that's going on. But, but, Diana. When she, but when she was talking to Diana, the text came in from, from Dante saying that we need to talk. D. D, we need to talk. And so Diana peaked that, so that's gonna stay in her head right, right. there. So I think to? that's gonna be the that's gonna, her, be it. that's gonna be the gateway of her of, of her finding out that she was messing with Dante behind her daddy's back while he was in prison. No, no, no. This was before. No, I'm talking about that's how I, that's how I believe Diana's gonna find out. Oh yeah, put yeah, it all yeah. put it all gotcha, together. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, she's gonna put it all together. I from went, that text. I went forward back like you said. Yeah, <laughs> she she gonna put she gonna put all that together. Mm -hmm. All right, so we see uh Professor uh Carrie is sitting at her desk trying to get her speech together for um the Jabari dinner, but she on this this app I guess the app called Hallway, and basically all the students from it's the clubhouse. Yeah, all the students from the classes in there talking was I'm like talking cash money. <laughs> yeah, they was like. Uh, won't 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 the professor um in the book and and one she fucking Z cross and, <laughs> and the book was about her. her. The book was about her, you know. And uh, the other girl, crazy girl, was like, I ain't trying to judge, but you know she get around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so now she all nervous. So the dean, dean, Mister Wong, coming come in the office, and Tate is there because you know Tate wants to come. He to, wants to be in the number. Yeah, he wants to be at the dinner too. So when when the dean comes in, he told Tate, I need to talk to her real quick. And Dean was like, you know, it's been a lot of rumors going on around the campus about your personal life. And I think you need to not do sit the, this one out. Yeah, sit this one out and we find somebody else. But Tate overhears it and Tate comes in like, wait a minute, ain't this the worst time for us to be it's doing a this? Sexist. And this little sexist right here, you know, you know, pulling it off of this because her personal information is going around. And so Mr. Wong was like, like well, well, yeah, we yeah we'll, we'll do it. And mm -hmm. Carrie was like, what you want? I just want a plus one. I want to be your plus one. You don't want to be your plus one. So at this point, we didn't know why Tate wanted to be at, I did. at this dinner. At the dinner, uh, at the Weston's table, first oh Trace, Trace is over there like, we didn't even know this J J Jabari, Jabari guy. Before he got shot, and they were talking skit like he wrote a book, and I guess the mom been reading the books. She liked the sexy books that he writing. She liked the sex scenes. That's yeah, all. and all and all this stuff going on, and the father was like, because they was like, why are we here anyway? He was like, we are here because I'm on the alumni board and I'm being a good alumni. So basically, they didn't even want to be there. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, hold on, Trace, don't you go there too? Yeah. And, well, you not that you're supposed to know everybody, but come on now. Yeah. You knew who Jabari was. Yeah. But, so, this was Tate's opportunity to take a swing at, uh, at the daddy. At the daddy. So, he was like, um, I just wanted to come to warn you that a picture is about to come out about your, about, about your boy Sweeney. Sweet. And so, this gets his attention. He was like, you know what you mean by that? Because me and him go way back. He was like, I'm going to need you. Tate told him, I'm going to need you to tell your friend that he needs to step down. And so uh, the dad was like, well, okay. I don't take too well. To I don't rest. take blackmail too well. Yeah, Tay said, because you like black faces. Instead. And walked out his face. <laughs> he was like. But, however, this is where the ball is going to get the rolling where Tariq and Braden is going to okay. fall out again. Because Braden, when he was at the table, he was mad at the way they were talking. He was like, I'm going to go get some one of them lobster tails and skit. Lots of rows and skit. So but he was around the corner listening. So he heard Tate talk about the blackface. So, was, so he know that it only came from one place. He knew it Tariq. came from Tariq. So then we see the scene where Monet comes to see Dante because she mad now that he rolled up on Zeke at the court. And she was like, didn't we have an agreement? He was like, yeah, we, we have did it. have an agreement. Because you remember at first he was supposed to be meeting Zeke. But she changed her mind after, Lorenzo. after once Lorenzo got out of jail. And he was like, basically, you forced my hand. And she was started playing a narrative where you wasn't you wasn't there for him anyway. She was like, he was like, well, you was the one that didn't tell me about him. So I didn't know that. I didn't either. That basically she kept she kept it hidden from Dante that he had 
a son. So Dante was like, well, I went to the military. He said, I got arrested. I yeah. was given an opportunity to change my life. I would, well, you didn't really change. You just, yeah. got, you just <laughs> got better at it. Yeah. I went to the military. He's like, did you think that I would be missing, missing basketball games, appointments, all of this stuff? If you knew I had a, if I knew I had a son. Yeah. So basically when it comes to that, he's solid. Yeah. Like Dante was like, no, I would have never. <laughs> yeah. I would have never done that. So yeah. So then we see that Tariq decides that he wants to meet with Tamika. And I was like, why is it? Why you keep messing why with you, Tamika? Why you messing with Tamika? You know Tamika is straight laced. Tamika is not going to lie. Tamika is not going to lose her hard license that she didn't earn to be in the system. She not, she not yeah. going she not going to do that. So <clears throat> he, Tariq ended up basically telling Tamika that, hey, I had to, I, I had to end up, my hand, I, my hand was forced, so I had to end up killing, um, Killing the Jabari. But he was like, I ain't do that cop. Now. But I didn't do the cop. So um Tamika was like, the best thing that you can do is that you need a deal. Um, you you need to basically tell the person that you know who killed the cop and you will get five years. She said, matter of fact, you in your twenties, you'd be like twenty-five by the time you get out. And matter of fact, she said, I thought that when your father died that all the bodies was going to stop dropping. But ever since he died, <laughs> even <laughs> more bodies just dropped. She was like, you real smart, Tariq. Yeah. She said, you either going to get better or you going to be worse than your father right, right here. But here's the thing that, like, we talk about the system. It's like, it sounds good to do five years for a murder. But like Tariq said, if I snitch, I'm going to put a target on my sister's back and, and my grandma. My grandma. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not willing to take that risk. So I'm like, I, I, I feel him. <laughs> yeah, and even like that, look at what his mom is going through. Now, we ain't saying yeah. all the skit that they did because they did, right. like they said, whatever they said they did, they did that skit. Yeah. But look at her. In order for her to be free, she has to be locked away from her family. Yeah. Tariq's like, no, we're not going to do this. What I'm not going to do. Because you can't do that forever. Yeah, and he was like, what I'm not going to do is be locked away have this target on my family's back, and then in order for them to feel safe, they're going to have to imprison themselves too. Yep. So it's like, like you said, it's like a lose-lose. Yeah. So if I save myself, I sacrifice my family. And that's what he said at yeah. the end too. Right. So basically, it's almost like he just needs to get himself up and go to prison. But he ain't going to do that because that's ghost son. He going to get out of the way. So he not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So... We see that finally the scene we've been waiting for, we wanted to see Lorenzo and Mecca hey. meet. But we looking for the war. But we didn't get the war this week. But this was the meeting because remember in the last episode, uh, Dante had told Cain <clears throat> that we need to that I need to meet Lorenzo. Because at first he didn't want he didn't want to meet. He's like, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, we don't never have to meet. But now, all of a sudden, because Monet don't want him no more. <laughs> and he being and, nasty. And change the things, yeah. So now, he wants to meet. So they meet. And so they work out a deal where Mecca turns over all. All. I agree. So how much? All. all his product over to Lorenzo. He was like, I don't know how you're going to push this. And Lorenzo was like, I can push even more once I get some soldiers. And, and, and Dante medicine. was like, soldiers? They ain't nothing. I can get you soldiers for a cut, of course. So, Dante, so I say Dante is all, he's setting it, up. He giving him all his product and he talking about supplying soldiers. Yeah, that is definitely a setup. That's a setup. So, after they worked that out, I said that was very smooth. Mm -hmm. And Kane was like, dang. So, we know Kane is fucked because you remember Lorenzo, um, Kane and Monet need here. the product because they need to pay Davis this half a million dollars. To keep name keep Kane's name out of the court system. So now they don't have no product to run. <laughs> I said, oh. Okay. So, <laughs> so now we're gonna figure out now they have to decide, cause we saw that uh Kane ran back to Monet because Monet was still in the frantic because she's still trying to get this stuff straight for Zeke. He was Kane was like we basically ate out because uh, Don Mecca just turned over all the product to Poppy. So now we ain't got no money. We ain't got no product to give to Tariq to run at the college. So we, we, we out. A out. 
Hey, I, and they can't ask for anything because they're not supposed to be working with Tariq. Right. So, <clears throat> Monet was like, well, you need to handle this. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. What are we handling? Wait. And and this is where um, Monet be pissing me off. Because she you has told, to, you got to tell him what to do. Right. You told him to handle the Ramirez stuff and where the chips fall. Now, he this got y'all here. Now, y'all are here. And y'all supply been cut off. Now you tell him he need to handle that too. Because what you got to do, like I said, when you got a hitter like Kane, you have to tell him, step one, yeah. go here. Yeah. Step two, go <laughs> he here. He need a to-do list. He needs a freaking checklist. <laughs> what you don't do, don't kill him. Because he just, he just bop and think about it later. And that leads us into the reason why we say that, that his idea was to go and sit him back in the back of David's car and put a gun to his head. And I was like, that was your, that was your, that was your plan. That's your plan, okay? Saying, nigga, my name better not be mentioned in this case. So David told him, well, basically, if you kill me, I'm your only saving grace. Because if I don't get to reek off, I guess what? Off. This ain't gonna get you off. So basically, if I'm gone, all this is gonna blow back on you. <laughs> and if Tariq goes down, you go down too. You go down too. So it's in your best interest that I be kept alive. Exactly. And I'm like... Then he talked about, so when he finally let him go and Davis pulled off, he was like, tell your mama I said Tell your mama I said, hi, Kane. <laughs> I was like... I tell you what, they met the man that's playing the hell out of this poet. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's doing a good job. So we see, you know, we know Kane and Drew... It's not on the same page because Kane is, uh -huh. is jealous because Lorenzo is is bringing Drew by his side because Drew gonna be the man. So Drew, um, Kane comes in while he <laughs> while Drew in there watching cartoons. <laughs> go stand in front. Of and the go TV. stand in front of the TV, and so they get into an argument, and uh, Drew tells Kane that you not smart. You say reason why I know you not smart because you took. And planted the bad Mar Mar Ramirez badge down at the college, so you just a guard dog with a new master. I said, "Oh!" <laughs> I said, "Drew, you ain't had to say that." I mean, when he said that, I got pissed off too. Yeah, he I would have fought him too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have just fought him on the simple fact. Why did you even come out your mouth like that at me? So they got the fight, and Lorenzo came in there and broke it up. And Kane told Lorenzo that, "Hey, uh, Drew's little boyfriend is is it's a snitch." And Lorenzo was like, that right? And, and, and he was like, no. No, that's not true. That's not true. He's not a snitch. And he was like, if it is, you better handle it. And so when Lorenzo left, uh, Kane told him, said, you better handle it before somebody else do. I said, oh, no, not Everett. And I was like, so then we seen uh, Drew sitting in the car watching Everett talking to this other dude. And I was like, oh, man. I said, dude, he got the ghost look on his face. I, I was said, like, is where the track suit at? I said, is Drew going to kill Everett? I said, this going to be the hardest thing he ever done in his life. Yeah. But he had those eyes, though. Oh, he was on it. He was ready to do it until he got the text from Everett saying, what you doing? I miss you. you. And he stopped because he, he was he was on his way to get him, though. I said, is he a psychopath? Yeah. He, a psycho he is a psychopath. He crazy. <laughs> He wanted them solid killers, man. Yeah, them the worst kind of like diabetes, man. Yeah. So let's let's go back to the Jabari dinner. So it's time for for Carrie to deliver oh, her speech. Man. So when she started delivering her what speech, speech, yeah, <laughs> she could overhear the audience started talking about her. <laughs> and if you ever ever done any public speaking. That's one of the things that make it so hard is when you look out you and see, you hear the noise and you see people having sidebar conversation because you really can't hear what they're saying. But, you but just, in your mind, they talk they're talking about, about you. Yeah. <laughs> so she storms off stage and goes to her office and Tate comes after her. And she tells Tate, get out. I know you're just going to tell me that. It was okay. It's going to be all right. And it wasn't that it bad. It wasn't that bad. He's like, no. He didn't, no. It was that bad. It was bad. <laughs> and Tate tells her, it's like, I understand the position you in. I see your your life is going down the toilet, down the drain, spinning down the drain. And Tate was like, let me tell you why I came to the dinner tonight. 
He said, I came to the dinner tonight because I'm trying to save my political career. And she was like, well, did it work? And Kate was like, the thing about politics, the story never, never. ever ends. And he told Carrie, if you anything like me, I'm a survivor. I'll do whatever it takes to survive. If you anything like me, you're going to do the, the same, same thing. thing. And I was like, why in the hell you tell her that? What the, now, what's, the, what's she going to do now? Who's she going to buck now? Yeah. Well, <laughs> or who's she going to screw over next to get her out of this? Because she think her career is over. And basically at this point, it, it is because people is talking. So it's only a matter of time yeah. that she going to get pulled in and get questioned, especially for about, Z. about sleeping with Zeke. So uh, that, although that, they're adults, yeah, you sleeping with a student, which is unethical, right? So, like that's like you sleeping with your boss at work. Yeah, I got a conflict story. of conflict of interest, which you know already. I read. <laughs> I guess I had a story. Not her. That. She ain't sleeping with her boss, but she yeah. knows somebody who did. My ex roommate. <laughs> All right. So then we see Miss Lauren come to visit Tariq. I said, I thought she was done. Yeah, I thought she was done. She was like, I really need to talk to you. And uh, Diana. <laughs> Diana shows up, and Tariq was like, well, I'm sorry. You know, my lawyer says it's best for me not to talk to you because you remember her name came up mm -hmm. in one of their meetings. Mm -hmm. And come to, you know, come to find out, that's how Davis found out that Carrie's name was a part of her Lawrence legal counsel because I didn't know that she had signed up to be her legal counsel. I didn't. I, 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 yeah, until I didn't then, I, I didn't know that. We'll talk about that some, some more in a minute. So Diana comes in and uh, Tariq was like, you know what? Cut the BS. Whatever you need, just come straight at me because, my, really? <laughs> yeah, come straight at me. I don't got time to beat about it, but what you need. So <clears throat> she was like, well, what's going on with Course Correct? And he was like, it's been shut it's down nothing. because I'm not, you know, Monet cut me off. So that's shut down. And I can't leave campus. And no I way. can't leave campus. And he was like, I know you ain't coming down to talk about that. So she fatigued to tell him I came down here because I basically need to tell you that my house is fucked up. <laughs> I, thought, I thought by getting Poppy out of jail, that was going to change everything at home. But that's the made things worse because Monet and Poppy ain't on the same page. But you know what's so funny, though? For Monet kids to be her kids, they yeah. never call her mama. They, they always they, call her by her first name. They'll address her as Ma, so you'll know that that's Ma. But when they talking about her, she's Monet. She's Monet. <laughs> now, back in the day, see me. Oh, you would not I, have I her called too. Mama Mama in her presence. And I called Mama Mama outside her presence because it was something about Mama's Finding out about you calling them out of their out of their Even calling about their you're first in name. The store and yeah. you trying to distinguish which yeah. mama we hollering at. Yeah, I just can't be like Lisa. <laughs> yeah, so back in the day, you turned out missing for calling your mama by her first name. She ain't play that. That was highly disrespectful. Highly, disrespectful. highly. But they do it. <laughs> they do it. So she was like, "Well, I'm able to go to school." And he was like, that's a good thing. That's a good school that you're going to. But she was like, I want to I'm come to here. I want to come to Stansfield and be with you. So he, he was like, like, so she was, he was like, you know, Monet ain't Monet never gonna let that never happen. Never gonna let that happen. Um, but she was like, well, she ain't got no say now because the reason why she said that because y'all was in business together, but that's taken care of. So Tariq was like, okay, if we gonna do this, you basically need to make me two promises that Monet. It's never going to find out about this. She said, done. Done. <laughs> and you got to be able to handle this life. Uh, and she was like, done. Done. So I'm like, are we trying to get the storyline now of how Ghost and Tasha got together? Or is that a reach? That's a reach. Think it's a reach? Y'all let me know what y'all what y'all think about that. Yeah. But them coming together, y'all think they're gonna be like a ghost and 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 Tasha duo, and Braden gonna be Tommy. Mm. The one thing about history, it always repeats itself <clears throat> with different players. Right. So you may not be far off. You may not be far. Off. The storylines may not be as streamlined. Right. But I could definitely see where where the similarities come in. Yeah. I do that. I do see that. So, <clears throat> so we get 
Now, we're not at court where Davis is interviewing Yaz. Story lines up perfectly until she's cross-examined by Jenny. I say he And the story just falls apart because she went with Grandma to the store. Prior it wasn't to, dark. Yeah, and it wasn't dark. So that messed that up, and Tariq was like, no, nah, Yaz is not doing this. Like we said in the beginning, she didn't need to get up on the stand. <laughs> y'all, mm-hmm. y'all need to come up with a different plan because that, that, that is not going to work. What y'all not going to do is stress out Yaz. That's it. With her little yeah. cute self. Yeah, you not going to do that. <laughs> That's what I said. When it comes to a kid, a kid can tell the truth, know the truth, but if you get them crossed up, be like, what color is it? it well, it's blue. No, it's green. It's not... <laughs> It's just the nature of a kid. They ain't, they're not built to be on a witness stand. No. They meant, they meant to be going, and playing they with their toys. And they crafted. So if yeah. they think you asking them for them to get in trouble, they're going to switch the story anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did you eat that? Oh, um, no. Did you eat that? Um, is it Was it fine? Yeah. Did you eat that? Yes, I ate it. <laughs> So we have a lot of nieces and nephews. We know how this goes. Zeke is laid up over there at, at uh, Monet and them house chilling. And so Diana walk up on him like, Zeke, what the hell are you doing here? And he was like, well, uh, Auntie Monet thought it would be safe if I just go and stay here. Because this, this, this Rick Fox <laughs> nigga rode up on me in the park. Tell me he was my, my dad. dad. <laughs> so Monet was like, you know, he just trying to hitch a ride off me to the league. And I was like, did you? <laughs> Okay. And so she was like, well, I'm sorry to hear that. But when Zeke had said Don, Dante. his name is Dante, I thought that Diana was going to put it together then with the D from the text. Like, she, Dante. She clicked. She definitely you clicked. You think she clicked? She clicked, but not enough to go ahead. And, but she was like, Dante. It's, yeah, it's, the story going to come together 1, 2 o'clock in the morning when you're sitting there and you, your mind just won't shut off. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to come together then. Yeah. <laughs> Now, here, here is where Kane is getting on my nerves. Kane understand that him and Tariq are about to go to jail. And when they when they met, Kane had told Tariq that our supply been cut off. <laughs> but since you the smart one, figure it out. You need to figure it out. And Tariq was like, I'm on house arrest and my and my case is in, in my in the morning. It's in the morning. How am I supposed to do that? Because you remember Tariq. Oh, Davis two million dollars. Yeah. So I'm like. Cain, this further proves that you're not smart because you ought to be devising a plan with Tariq Instead to of get you it all off. on him. Right. So you you putting your whole entire life on a college kid. On a college kid that's on house arrest <laughs> and is going to court tomorrow. Real facts. Further proving what Drew and all I'm saying that you ain't smart enough to run that, bruh. You can't do it. He's a hitter. Because the thing about it, yeah, you the enforcer. You you ain't you ain't the planner. You just need the plans to be given to you, like like the queen said. He's an armor bear. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, how in the heck do you ex? Yeah. Come on, Kane. Yeah. Then we see Sax, Tamika, and Jenny come to the dorm to talk to Reek because they got this amazing deal. So <laughs> so they was like, all you gotta do is sign, and this is gonna happen. You'll do five years. Yaz get to go back to the foster parents that she like. Big Mama's going to be put in rehab. And then once she finished and gets sober, she's going to get custody. I was like, that's, 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 a, that's a decent deal. But Tariq once again said, I'm not taking a, willing to take that risk of putting a target on Yaz and my grandma because I snitched. Cause that's the it's always snitching. You know. And then, like you said, you think I'm gonna be safe in jail right. as a snitch? No. Nah. Like no. You no, know. nah, you're not gonna be safe. Cause snitches get stitches. Unless though. you go to Fed. Yeah. So then we see Mr. Lorenzo decide. You know, I need to get back right with Monet. You know, she you she been coming down upstate. You know, in these cold prisons with her lingerie on, so we need to make this right. So he got flowers and all set up. Said, and the queen was like, "Why does it look like a funeral?" Home? No. I said, it "Look like a funeral home up in there." <laughs> but check this out. Isn't Monet house like getting bigger every yeah. episode? Yeah. I said, "Is this the same house?" Yeah. Like, are they filming at Tyler Perry Studios now or something? I don't know what's going on. Because I swear to God, that house gets bigger and bigger, and the layout changes a little bit every episode. Yeah. <laughs> so after they finish doing their thing. We see that Lorenzo gets a text from his men that is done. 
And then Monet gets a text from Dante that we please, we need to talk. Oh. But we saw Lorenzo's guys. I guess he was. they were going to finish off Reno's men. I, I guess, was confused on what the hell was I guess happening. what was going on there that they did with that. So I guess we'll stand by to figure out that. If y'all know, you can put that down in the comments. But <clears throat> we see that Davis comes to the bar where Sax is at and was like, why in the hell did you go behind my client's back and try to get him a deal? Because, you know, I don't do deals. My clients get off. Yeah. A deal ain't put, spending five years in prison. Mm -mm. Well, Sax was like, well, he didn't take it anyway, so nothing lost. So, <clears throat> Davis was like, this Lauren person that's going to be the witness, uh, we need to find out what she going to say. Mm -hmm. So, can we find out who the legal counsel got? So, we were coming back to this. So, Sax go to his folder, <laughs> and Davis was like, I be darn. Because at this point, <laughs> we didn't know who it was. So, he goes straight over to Professor, uh, Professor Carey's uh, house and was like, how Dare you <laughs> hey, he cover your own aid by, by going into guys as Lauren's legal counsel. He said, matter of fact, I should take you to the ethics committee. <laughs> and she was like, ethics? Ethics. She said, ain't yeah. no ethical bone in, in your, your body. body. But he said, you got a lot of bones in your, in your mind. body. Because <laughs> she said, matter of fact, I can name at least four people that you have slept with that's a part of this case. So Davis tells her that basically I'm going to do whatever it takes to get my client off. So I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to do whatever it takes. But she can see the heat is on. So basically, I'll get you behind balls to get Tariq off. I was and, laughing when they were talking about the body count. And yeah. she said, your body count just is the highest mind. And plus, you're married. I ain't. Yeah. <laughs> I said, boom, you got that point. So yeah, that 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 was the episode, y'all. So, uh, like we said, we still waiting on this war between Lorenzo and Mecca. I don't know how that's gonna shake out. What Mecca's plan is, since Mecca is gonna be supplying um, Lorenzo now, which that's gonna to me is going to be a manipulation tactic because right now they have no connect. But what about this? What if, Mecca lied? Mecca. what if Mecca lied to Lorenzo and said that you get all my product, but he doesn't. He actually creates a war and still gives Kane a cut. Hmm. What if that's the case? But it was funny seeing them together. I said, Lord, look at husband and daddy together. <laughs> yeah. one and they don't even know. They don't even know if she has a type. But like y'all said, y'all see y'all say y'all believe that Lorenzo is more smarter than he looks, that he knows about Mecca. But after this deal right here, I don't I don't think so. Cause that would yeah. that would be too risky because you you putting all, you know, Mecca is going to be the one that's going to be supplying the product. Without the product, you make no money. Yeah. So I don't think he really know. Or maybe he might He might have an inkling of knowing something, but he don't know that it's Mecca. It's almost messing like... Messing with his wife. It's, yeah, it's almost like I cheat on you, but in order for you to eat, you got to go to the man I slept with. Yeah. Yeah, that don't work like that. Yes, yeah, so I don't... I think... I, this is my prediction. I think that Lorenzo is going to find out some kind of way. About what's going to go on, what's going to be going on, and I don't know if Kane gonna lose his life behind it, if Mecca gonna lose her his life, or Lorenzo, or any of the family. So I I believe somebody's getting ready to lose their life behind this right here. Yeah. Yeah, but we just don't know who. No, but trust me, we're gonna. We, we, we definitely gonna find out. And on that note. So y'all put all y'all thoughts down in the comments for your predictions and everything. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we're going to see y'all next week. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla! Boo!